Hello everybody, Jim here to talk a little bit about the Tumbril Nova. Man, I love Tumbril ship names because they're so hard to say. Tumbril Cyclone, Tumbril Nova. Say that 10 times fast right now. Do it. No, anyway, um, just taking a look at this. This went out to concierge members and actually it irritates me a little bit because they put it up on the website proper. And then when you click on it, it says access denied. I don't really think that's cool, CIG. Send it out in an email, that's great. But putting it up there to taunt everybody? Man, come on, that blows. <laughs> anyway, um, here we are looking at the Tumbril Nova. And what can we say about it from this picture? We know that it is, quote, a hard-hitting tank. At least they didn't say it hits above its weight class. Um, but it is probably well armored. You can see here, if you look off to the right, you'll see the blown up portion. You can see these little, uh, looks like anti-aircraft missiles. Looks like a pair of badgers or bulldogs on top, sort of like a machine gun. And then you have what looks like a size four energy weapon, maybe, or possibly it's like a rail gun or something. Uh, I'm sure even if it is a size four, it'll be size three by the time this thing actually comes out. So <laughs> that's pretty much what you're looking at here. As far as scale, you've got these two little guys right here. Uh, and it looks like they're actually a little bit closer to the camera than that is. So that thing is darn big. And if you look over here, uh, back over on the bigger picture here, you can see this looks like the engine from a crashed Javelin, maybe. And as it happens, this tank is right next to that engine. So we can get a pretty good idea of scale. Now, I'm sure everybody watching this video is intimately familiar with the size of the engine on a Javelin, right? No? Okay. Well, what I did was go onto the internet and look for somebody who would park next to the actual Crash Javelin in game, and I found somebody called Opin Gaming. Open? Open? Open Gaming? Yeah, okay. Open Gaming. And uh, I checked out their video, and what I saw was they landed a Cutlass next to this thing. I think that this tank is approximately Cutlass-sized. I, I, that's what it seems to me. I mean, something close. So you figure between these two little guys over here uh, and the size of this engine compared to a Cutlass, I would say that this tank is about the size of a Cutlass, give or take. So, I mean, we're looking probably at at least three crew, I would imagine. Uh, probably someone to drive it. You want someone on the turret, maybe someone made into machine guns. Who knows? With the size of this thing, either there's going to be a butt ton of armor, which, you know, makes sense for a tank, or you're going to have several people in there running maybe shields and weapons and, you know, and, and somebody for every job. As far as what you would do with this, I, you know, you do tank stuff. Now, personally, I am not all that interested in my ground game in Star Citizen, aside from getting from one place to another. And sure, a tank is a good way to do that, but I can't put this tank into my Starfarer. So, <laughs> I mean, that, I, I lose a lot of interest in it right then and there. This isn't something I'm going to be able to haul around. I need something small enough that I can get it in and out of the Starfarer, like uh, an Ursa Rover, a Tumbril Cyclone, or a Dragonfly, Nox, X-1. There's already a boatload of ground vehicles. I don't really need a tank. However, that doesn't mean that you don't need a tank, and I would very much like to see all of you driving around in a tank in-game. And considering what I've already seen the Ursa do as far as climbing hills and stuff, I can't wait to see what the vehicle with some tread does. So, that is the Tumbril Nova. You can expect a butt-ton of armor, a big gun, multi-crew gameplay, uh, all of that fun stuff. Some anti-aircraft. Yeah, lots of fun for people who want to drive a tank. I just don't happen to be that person. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. That's all I have on the Tumbril Nova. And that is fun to say. And I will see you next time. Maybe tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not seeing you tomorrow. I don't know. Probably a week. A month. A year. Hello everybody, Jim here with a very brief video on the Tumbril Nova. This just went out to concierge members and 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 my idea let's start over. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs>